the LA is an acronym for Lift Ancient Religion. And our idea was to not approach any longer ancient religions as religious systems tied up with the certain places, polis, cities, um, but, but that religion also in antiquity is something that is done by people, that is experienced by people, and sometimes people group together and, and sometimes people mix religious identities with political identities, but that is not necessary and it's perhaps not even um, the, the usual thing. The project is based at the Max Weber Center of the University um, of the University of Erfurt, and uh, we are a group of um, about six, seven, eight people uh, who are partly employed uh, by the university to to work here in this building on the project. But there are also people from from closer or more distant locations who intensively collaborate on this, like Richard Gordon, for instance, like uh, Rubina Raja, an archaeologist from uh, the University of Aarhus in Denmark. So uh, today, this is uh, we are looking at a very specific, let's say, aspect of lived ancient religion and its intersections with um, ancient medicine. And we have experts from, uh, um, coming from archaeology, uh, experts coming from history of religion, um, more um, uh, experts coming more from sort of medical, traditionally defined as medical texts like uh, Galen and Galenic texts and the Hippocratic Corpus. But we're really trying to sort of open this up and redefine, if you like, uh, the conception of what is medical and what is sacred. So my own paper is about, um, it's called What is Divine About Medicine? And it's, uh, um, it, it focuses on uh, the uh, meeting point between mystery cults and healing cults. And to what extent one sort of appropriated the other or healing cults that they had a distinct mysteric component or the other way around. And basically, it is a kind of a little study case uh, of LAR uh, and looking at embodiment and uh, how the body was basically religiously um, experienced and religiously expressed. Uh, I'm interested in the conceptual business. So, I mean, how can we supplement or maybe even replace notions like civic religion, police religion, which is so much focusing on, on the practices and beliefs of a, of a tiny minority uh, of, of, of people in the elite, mostly male people uh, in the elite in ancient societies. So this is the one line. The other is I'm interested in, let us say, large scale and, and long term uh, transformations of religion, of religious practices in antiquity, starting from the early Iron Age down into late antiquity. So many things happened. Uh, we, we witnessed ma massive changes in terms of the number of gods venerated, polytheism, monotheism, the type of god being, being venerated, uh, Jupiter or Christ, uh, and and even the quality of of these uh, of these gods of demons uh, of small local uh, genie uh, ge um, geniuses mm. uh, genii lares uh, uh, domestic gods um, and um, big changes in in the practices addressed to these gods or the type of situations into which gods are brought into in terms of communication, in terms of practices. I'm enjoying it terribly. I, I think it's, it's a nice way um, uh, to collaboratively work on a, on a very important issue and, and the number of ideas being produced and, and uh, um, killed in discussions uh, is just uh, amazing and that could never be done by, by somebody just sitting uh, at, his, at his or her desk uh, in, in his or her own room.